Hooray, welcome back. We have to have a multiverse. We are fighting. Uh, he's not gonna take down sensors, and it's not like we need them either. Hacking. Nope, no need for that. Okay. Let's set the doors on fire as well. Nice dodges, by the way. Sounded like a missile. And it was! Casual 6 damage missile. Because that seems fair. I think their weapons are dropping quite rapidly as well. All right. Who got my control? Oh, of course. Sorry. <clears throat> Come on, this should be. There we go. Safe. The original clairvoyance of the century ago could see their descendants now. Failing to ship like yours did weep, which frankly you don't mind. Uh, I'd kill them too. Um, all right, well, that hurt. See what's in the shop. The entire transaction, I think, was completely normal. I guess it was all a false alarm. They were still cautiously poking around through the cargo, looking for stowaways for stolen goods. He's looking for stolen goods. If they're stolen, you won't find them. I know they mean stuff that got stolen from your hold, but. Um, we need to make something here. Uh, it's long term, look great. I think it's on more tech. Energy shield bypass. Uh, anything else you would want to make? Yeah, can we make the, um... I think that's doors tech. On board? That's patient grills, yeah. Can make a defense scrambler too. But we have enough flak to get past. Uh crew of any kite can no longer face through doors on your own ship, including your own. But does it also give me the fact that they start dying on my ship just by being there? Recon teleporter, we don't need level 4 teleporter, we don't need. Uh, 
Uh, I think we're good. <clears throat> Another flag too. Um, I think I will take it over the f chain flag. Because now our first shot is 16. At the end of the line, it ends up being 10 for because we're waiting for this thing. I know it's not 10, but I'm not counting the reductions. So this will take off a... Doing this replacement will take off a good chunk of our uh, downtime. At least for our first volley. It's a weird thing to do, I think. I guess, I suppose, but it makes sense in my mind. Um. Okay. upgraded just so my NG isn't gonna be dead for like half the <clears throat> or dying for most of this run uh, say your door system are gonna burn me oh no look at me I'm so uh... here's how you do a fire built lads Okay. Um, let's keep moving. Um, sure. The depths of one of the nearby colonies is a very strange sight. The residents of a variety of different races shamble about like mindless puppets in orderly lines. Seems as though they are being controlled, perhaps by the sailor farmer you saw from space. Void! You need to be rescued! Yes. I don't know what stupidity I'm getting into. Oh, you took a nasty hit. We have to delay ourselves a bit anyway, for this thing to run out. Cerberus, go. 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 And go. Actually, wait. You go here. I don't think the artillery is too bad, but I'm always worried when the enemy has it. Because you never know. I think it's just a cloud thing that they're making here, so it's really not that big of a concern, I think. But, yeah, you know. Is this still on fire? Nope. It is deoxygenized, though. Cool. Bang, bang. Oof. Okay. 
It has been empty of crew and you rush to shut off the mind control signal for scrap in the hull. The of the colony are terrified after what appears to have been months of manipulation from the slugs. One particularly scared of an officer in your crew so they can escape from the sector. That is nice of you, but um, we're good. We're good. I'll let you take over uh, their Sierra forming stuff and do some good with it. Um, let's go check. We could always use another augment, I guess. Reach luck teleports from nowhere before you can open fire spell as various well across the heavens, branching things at you. It's like some kind of hypnotist, it's not your slug that told you that. It's the fact that he's now branching an old pocket watch and he's waving in front of you. When he realizes it's futile, he gives up and offers to trade. <laughs> <clears throat> Three power, unfortunately, so we could, but again, charge time is important here. Um okay, nothing then just some repairs. Um. Oh, this goes up to three now. Uh, the merchants here we definitely want to go say hi to him. Uh, say about the ship's mostly. Yeah, okay, we continue. Do nothing. Cloaking and running. That one six damage missile, I think that was just system damage, not whole damage, so. Cool. Just run through the vacuum of space for a bit to get back to your door system. It's fine. Uh, more shopping. We're looking for an augment. I don't know which one, though. Uh, no, we're keeping the clone bay. Um, is there anything I want to do, though? Um, I can lower charge time on a battery, but I don't think that's important right now. Um... What would it cost to make the shields better? Electrical insulation. Ion field. Uh, sure. Uh, crew are immune to stuns while in the shield room. On to this, not nah, pre torches. Probably, I'm gonna hold on to this just for the judges. I think. Pristine slug sign station, no visible damage, and out time, but there to be no activity from this station. Scan shows a rather unpleasant scene of dead slug scientists scattered about the station. Scan are able to divide the cause as a virus, which also matches some of the tubes in their labs. So all of the hosts is dead for several days. It appears the virus are no longer infectious. You board and grab some of their tech. The viral dispersion. Dangerous bioengineered virus uses no power and reduces enemy and player auction power by two. 
Hmm. Interesting. Try to make use of that. It won't work on. Well, it will work on flagship, but we don't want to use it on the flagship because that'll start extinguishing fires. I'm not sure. This was a stupid upgrade, I know, but eh. occasionally you have to do some science, right? Because otherwise, you just have run after run after run and sometimes you just gotta make it weird. Um. Oh, isn't this slot now? Man, I wanted to do slot knock. Ooh, so all right, stranger. Have you ever heard a tale of the weapon pre-igniter? It's a bit late for that, buddy. <laughs> but Jack Newman says, uh, "Yeah, continue." Never been too powerful, too unstable, too deadly. It's not impossible to find anymore. Trust me, I've tried. See, so a stranger Jack Newman didn't actually invent this. He stole it from who? Mysterious. And yeah, continue. Yeah, we did this, right? We just can't do it. But we don't have the time. Heavy weapons, admittedly, but <laughs> he only has two oxygen. I wonder if I could take him. Well, that's a thing we could try, right? If he shows up on the next sector, I'm not sure if he will. Not, well, because we found him here. Show interests. Uh, nope. We are full on crew, thank you kindly. Looks to be no escape, prepare for a fight. Ineffective against the level. Ineffective? Do they mean it doesn't work, or does it just mean their auction is still going to be active? Yeah, let's do it. Looks like Dugman has compromised your auction system. Beyond this, all systems are in order for combat. It's time for you to leave, buddy. off though, so that's nice. Pop, pop. So yeah, this does allow us to keep our auction active.
Uh, oh look, it's a quest. And yeah, the merchant unfortunately isn't here. Um, it's gonna be a short one, I think, but yeah, I'm gonna cut it here, otherwise it's gonna be too long of an episode. So my apologies, but uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you still the series, see you guys on the next one.